Gwen. This is Wine Wednesday, but actually we're gonna do something a little bit different. Today, this is a tamper, we are going to make fruit infused vodka in this here jug. You can see these are all of my peaches and I am going to put them in here and then I'm going to pour the vodka over it. And I think I'm going to put a little pinch of brown sugar in there as well. The final product is intended to be a peach tea infused vodka Arnold Palmer. It's a recipe I saw on the internet. These peaches right here uh, all came off of the tree and unlike the mulberry tree that I have, which I totally just wasted that harvest, like I'm such a bad farmer. Um, these, let me get these in there. Look at that, it's about half. Let's go more. I'm gonna fill up the whole jar, I think. I'm not one really for measuring. So the point is that I think we can have like a mix. Look at that right there. Can you see? Woo! I was down at the Hobby Lobby and I got this fancy jar. The whole point of this is to make some liquor gifts for my mom's birthday. I have, this is from the Smart and Final, it's Fleischmann's Vodka. I think it might be one step over a white label that has black lettering that says vodka. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and just soak these peaches. But before I do, I wanna put a little bit of brown sugar on it. And something to know, the original right idea I had was that I wanted to, now I'm just literally taking like a pinch. That's enough, ooh, it smells good. I had originally wanted to make homemade peach wine, fruit wine. And honestly, there's just so much going on that I can't imagine doing a three stage, 12 step fermenting process. I just don't have the bandwidth for it right now. What I do have is a jug full of fresh peaches. I washed them, I pitted them, and now in goes the vodka. Can you see that? Okay. So I'm going to soak these. Boy, this is coming out pretty slow. I'm gonna go ahead and soak these peaches. I've read a lot of different recipes on the internet. They say up to seven days. Just make sure you shake the jug several times. Let me, let me go ahead and milk this vodka bottle. Uh, shake it several times so that all of the peaches get covered. Just like that, you know how you milk a cow and you gotta kinda pull that teat? Uh, when you're milking a vodka bottle, you just gotta kinda pull that vodka teat. There we go. It is almost all into my Hobby Lobby jug. We have a new one in my town and I just love the Hobby Lobby. I could seriously spend some money in there. Okay, whew. You know what's funny? Mom and I were shopping for these jugs and we couldn't tell what the volume of the jug was, but I can tell you right now, it's at least, at least a quart, I don't know. Oh, one and a half liters. So now I'm going to take my tamper. You know, I think I probably should have done this first before I put the vodka in. Well, too late now. I am smashing. If you had a ricer or one of those fancy uh, potato mashers, that would probably be better for this. Whoops, I'm new at this. I just wanted to make a unique gift and something that could be used. And who doesn't use fruit infused vodka, right? Because even if you don't drink alcohol, if you had fruit infused vodka, you could reduce it down with maple syrup for a pancake topping. <laughs> okay guys, so I don't know if you've noticed, I find it difficult to talk and talk and tamper at the same time. This is the tamper from my Vitamix. I would imagine that I wouldn't let one drop of this go to waste. And I plan to take, to strain the peaches out, but then I'm gonna use the peach pulp, the actual fruit, and put it in the Vitamix and make a nice slush base. 
and make a smoothie like a peach margarita. It's just that the fruit will be vodka soaked. That is going to be one potent cocktail. Okay, so I'm feeling very Martha Stewart with this. And again, these are peaches from the tree. I actually have a whole other bag of peaches too. And then I put a little bit of brown sugar, you know, maybe like a dash of vanilla. I don't want to mess with it too much, but a dash of vanilla might help. And then I literally bought like the cheapest vodka ever. And where all of this came from, I have been seeing commercials for Kettle One Botanical Infused Vodka. I have not tried it yet. But I do, it, it just caught my eye and I thought, oh, that's what I can do with these fruits. And the long story short, I'm gonna show you this in just a moment. Um, I'm just really mad at myself. I'm looking out my kitchen window. I have the most beautiful mulberry tree. It, because of the heavy, heavy rains this year here in Arizona, it always has produced fruit. But this year, I would say it produced three times the fruit that it normally does. And I didn't know how to harvest it. And I read on the internet how to put the sheet down, how to do the harvesting. And guess what? I just didn't do it. I'm a bad farmer. I just didn't get it done. So long story short, I think this is well mashed. I think what's happened is that I've read so many different recipes online. I saw a lot of really... I should share those. I saw a lot of really good blogger posts about how to do the fruit infused vodka. And so here it is. You know what? Can you let me know in the comments, would something like this keep until Christmas time? <laughs> I know. Not like um, wine would never keep in my house till Christmas. It was a, just a darn miracle that my Shiloh wine lasted from Passover to Pentecost. But I'm wondering, gosh, wouldn't this make a nice gift? I love a homemade gift. Yes, I also love Birkin bags, uh, Gucci shoes. Um, sure, I like diamonds, you know, colored diamonds especially. Yes, I love purchase gift as well. But I always feel like the handmade gift, it's just, it's just really nice. And it has, a, it's just a little more special. And as you'll notice, this is why when I'm doing makeup, I usually don't talk. If I'm doing your makeup, which I don't do makeup anymore, but if I did, I don't really talk. You know why? Because the minute the mouth starts moving, the hands stop. So I'm noticing that as I'm trying to tamp down my peach-infused vodka that um, I'm having a hard time talking at the same time. So actually, let's, let's just do a little montage here. Um... I really wish I would have tamped first. I don't want to splash any vodka. I should take a taste of it before I bottle it up. I might just put the whole thing in the Vitamix when it's done. When it's got all its juicy goodness. Wouldn't you want this as a gift for your birthday? Let me get a spoon. Chicken dinner ready right there. Okay. This reminds me of... Way back when, uh, when I was in active production with JL, she's in development right now, I did a kitchen series with some of the talent and Raymond Scott, the actor who plays the sheriff, uh, he does bartending. And I said, oh, come do a video with me and uh, get a cocktail ready. And he told me what to buy and I missed one of the ingredients. I missed the Sprite, get a mixer. Whoops. So when we showed up and we had done all of this muddling of different types of fruits and poured the um, liquor on top and then went to enjoy it, it basically was this, fruit mashed in vodka because I forgot to get the mixer. I don't even know how I forgot that. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Whew. I'm a wine drinker. It's very peachy. <laughs> it's very, very peachy. Um, okay, let's call that done. So tamper down, <laughs> tamper down. And I am going to, this is how I ended up at the couple, I got a couple thoughts going on. One, uh, I really believe in reusing your plastic at least two times, like just start baby steps. You reuse your plastic two times. And there's been a couple of times that I had some really nice big jars 
and I always save them. And I just recently did a big clean out of the shed because I've just saved too many good boxes, too many good jugs, and I had to give them away. So I was at the Smart and Final and they didn't have a good glass jar that had a tight seal. Can you see that? Yeah, I still have the bum shoulder, you guys. So I think this is ready. I am going to put this in the refrigerator. Wine Wednesday to Wine Wednesday. I am going to agitate it uh, every day, a couple times a day. And then uh, next week we will have, we'll be back in the kitchen and we'll do a little deal here and see if I've got what it is that I think I'm making. The goal is a fresh and tasty uh, fruit infused vodka that can be used for making Arnold Palmer's, making any kind of just delightful treat for my mother's birthday coming up. Ah, okay. Hey, you guys, do you have a great DIY wine? I need like a three step thing, not three stages of fermentation. I need like uh, mix it, shake it, let it set. That's really what I'm looking for. And then if you have a different recipe for like a fruit infused thingy, because I'm testing this now, I think I'm just gonna put these in the freezer. I'm testing this now, but the goal would be come holiday time that I start working on another batch. My neighbor makes their own Kahlua and they always give me some. Uh, another friend makes her own plum wine and I got some of that too, and it's just so good. So I'm trying to look forward from June to Christmas that I would be ready to make great liquor gifts for friends and family, Woo! and myself. Oh, this got long. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sharing any recipes that you may have. I'd love to try them. And if you don't, you just have a favorite $10 wine, let me know, I will try that too. Hey everybody, I'm Cheryl Lynn. This is Makeup University, and remember, you look really gorgeous today.